Sagittariuses, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. And of course, I'm Debbie. Now, I'm reading for June 23rd to the 29th. I've done my overview, so watch it, please. I would appreciate it. It's interesting times. Goes over where the planets are and has a reading with it also. Now, remember, these are general readings. May or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I hope you have a little bit of fun. My adventurous Sagittariuses. Are things feeling a little bit overwhelming? And they could be feeling that way because maybe things aren't moving as fast as you want them to, or maybe they're moving too fast. But I just feel like there's a lot on your shoulders right now, and there's a lot of decisions to be made. And it just, again, it just feels like it's a whole lot but yet it's one of those things, here's your hat, what's your hurry? Um, everybody get ready, you know, ready, set, stop. Uh, you know, it's like, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready to go, I want to go. But, uh, you know, but things aren't moving as quickly as I would like them to be. So I don't know, some uh, something of that, a little bit of all of that too. So let's see, higher power, Holy Spirit, what else do you have for Sagittarius's, for your Sagittarius's? The adventurers, the ones that see so many possibilities out there sometimes those you see so many possibilities and you're like well how how do we make those even happen and maybe that's where that overwhelmed energy is that i'm picking up is from so one two and three three cards all of these are reversed so they've got some messages for you so let's see what we've got first card is the five of raphael always remember things happen for a reason okay Five is about change, positive or negative. Raphael is that water energy. Remember that I, you know, Venus is going into Cancer. It will soften things a lot. Um, it will make things feel a little bit um, uh, more loving in many ways. But um, And then we are also in Cancer season. So there's a lot of honesty coming out during this time too. So Raphael, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional, also very, very spiritual. Everything happens for a reason. And sometimes things don't go the way we really want them to go. But then when we find out, when we look back, when we look back in time, we can see that, we're, that it, was, it went the way that was best for us. Okay, I've seen that, you know, I've been, I've had opportunities or I've been there with, no, 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 this is what I want. And it did not happen that way. So that, but then when I look back, even five, 10 years um, into the past, even earlier, it's, I could see, I can see how the plan, how the universal God plan um, worked to bring me to where I need to be. So everything happens for a reason, release, regret. I should put my glasses on and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Again, reversed decision. So we have another five energy here. So we have five, 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 change, change, change. 10 plus five, transition into change. Decision, decision energy. This is Archangel Jophiel. Now the thing about, okay, the 15 in major arcana is generally the devil card. And it's also about being afraid of change. It's also being afraid to step out from where and who you are or your situation. Um, you know, I do like that they have, uh, I do like that this deck has Archangel Jophiel as the Archangel because Jophiel has a lot of creativity. Can, you know, can figure out, you know, a lot of times people think creativity is in the arts and it is, but this is also your thought processes. And Sagittarius is, like I say, you are my adventurers. You have, you, you can see opportunities. You can see pathways. You can see, okay, this door closed, but that door can open for me. You have a lot of creativity in that piece. But the decision card is also, it's some of them called egos, you know, is also about fear. And a lot of it is facing your fears. Now, we look back here. I do like to explain this card a little bit. We see this little, this bird, this dove, pigeon, dove, and the angel is holding the cage. The door is, the gate of the cage is open and can run out. Now, we don't know. Did these other birds come out of the cage? Probably not because it's a very small cage, but they're flying. They're saying, come fly with us. But the bird is saying, I don't know that I want to. I get my food. I get my, you know, I, I'm, I'm very stable where I'm at. But how stable really are you? You can't go flying. And the other thing is you're always dependent upon the owner. So there's a lot of, a lot of layers 
to this card. But the main thing is fear. Do not be afraid. You know, what is it? You know, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Clean, 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 clean. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So, you know, they're, they're, these two are really kind of um, emotional um, energies. They're kind of like, you know, this one's like, a, you know, this is like, well, this didn't happen the way I wanted. I'm going to keep, you know, but, you know, again, it happened because it had to happen this way. But now it's, it's pushing you maybe even into a decision. What is it that you're going to do? Now, I never tell someone to quit a job unless they have a job to go to. Okay, next card reversed. High Priestess, two. So we have those twos again. Two is choices, decisions. Um, it's also partnership. Archangel Heniel. Heniel has a lot of hope and it has a lot of possibilities with Heniel's energy too. The High Priestess is kind of the Holy Spirit energy. It is the connecting with the feminine energy. It is very psychic insights. There's prayer, there's meditation. There is, again, there's a lot of connecting with the higher power. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. I love this for you. Be at peace. So there's a lot of emotional drama here. There's a lot of emotional, emotional drama. The high priestess says, pray, connect, connect with higher power, pray. Things are going to go the way you need them, that they're, that they're supposed to go. The five of Raphael says, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to because there was a better direction for you. But then the high priestess also says, be at peace. Now, many times over, oh, I always hated that. When my mom would tell me I was in a fallow period, I hated that, that saying. It was like, no, I do not want to be in a fallow period. I want to be moving. I want action, action, action. So it must, it, it can be a little bit hard when you have to wait. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Be at peace. Anyway, let's see what we have. Oh, a card flipped. Okay, now it's interesting because this flipped while I was shuffling it. This is confirmation of your high priestess because it's the same card, Major Arcana. You are a very intuitive person, and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. So again, that patience, again, no need to take actions. Uh, you know, just, you know, meditate. You have, you know, you're, you're intuitive. You know, be quiet. Listen, listen. Instead of doing, listen. All right, let's see. So it's a week of listening. It's a week of being patient. It's a week of facing fears. It's a week of, like I said, there's a, it's a little bit overwhelming at the same time. It's kind of like hurry up and wait. It, but again, be at peace. Now, let's see what we've got going on here. But when I get, the, when I get cards that say things like that, that means that when the movement comes, be ready. Okay, when the movement comes, be ready. Okay, higher power. What else for your Sagittariuses? The other part I do like about this, if you, if you are experiencing this, you know, this is God's way of saying, hey, I got your back. Guardian angel of the world. Allow yourself to grow with your angel's protective light Surround, surround, shining, shining all around you. So let me say that again. Allow yourself to grow with your angel's protective light shining all around you. And this is the guardian angel of the world. So just know that you're being guarded. Know that you're being protected. And sometimes when we don't get it the way we want, well, my, many times I found in my life, when I don't get it the way I wanted it to go, it's usually because I'm being protected. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Higher power. What else? <laughs> we have, this was reversed. It fell out. Carnelian. All about self-trust. Okay, we got that. Relationship rejuvenation. Powers of concentration. Also helps to heal from abuse. Whew, that's a hard one, isn't it? All right, 
All right. And then I would say that was when you would want to make sure surround yourself with your angel's protective light shining all around you. Now remember, you can be of the light. It doesn't mean that everybody else is of the light. And, you know, in this world, you know, we can be doing, we can be going on our path, but when we're on our path, when we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, generally some something, somebody, some what, one comes, tries to throw us off our path. So that's where, you know, it's like, well, I've been, I, you know, I've been protected. I'm protected. And yes, you can still be protected. And it didn't turn out as bad as it might have turned out. But it doesn't mean that everybody else is asking for that. And that's what we have and who we have to deal with. Okay. So always know that. Higher power. And I don't know why, but St. Michael, watch over my Sagittarius's teeth. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well, she looks very uh, enjoying whatever she's doing. Take a big bite out of life. And again, that kind of goes along with the fear thing, doesn't it? Take a big bite out of life. Live large. Live large, my Sagittarius. So we got a couple of messages, some patience, hurry up and wait live large um know that you're protected but there's also some healing maybe you're you maybe i don't know maybe you're not ready to move forward but live life okay okay interesting week let me know we'll see what these influences are like for you do me a favor my sages do the like share subscribe click it on the bell for notifications you help me so much by doing that on rumble or youtube as always though my wonderful Sagittariuses, always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.